Okay, let's keep moving. You know, it's surprising how long the batteries last in a wave bird. I can't remember the last time I had to change these. I probably changed them once in the past, like, four years. Of regular GameCube playing. Compared to, you know, today's controllers. Cape Claw. Oh, shit. Immediately a big brute is gonna attack me. How did I take damage from that? What the hell? I killed him, and I took damage. That didn't make any sense, but oh well. What is it? What the hell? It's like something is watching us. Bridges out. Well, so much for that. I'm not even sure where I'm even going in here. The whole beachfront is filled with annoying enemies, so let's move on. I'm not even gonna fight them. The staff tells me there's something good around. Fine. What is it? A gold bar? We're gonna be rich after this mission. A shiny gold bar. The high top is a fondness for all things gold, so maybe if you give it to him, he will help you. What a noble hero Fox McCloud is. Here it is. I need to find something explosive, it looks like, to blow it up. Sell. How much is it to get past the guards? Probably some ridiculous amount. How much? You pay me scarabs to pass. Oh, only 25? I was expecting something like 40. Here, take him. You pass, but don't tell Bob. The best sharp claws ever, because they don't actually do their job. You know, this guy's patrolling, right? Yo, I'm freezing him right in front of his friend. He doesn't care. Okay, I'm cool with that. When I heard the Sharp Claw were coming to Cape Claw, I hid my precious gold deep below the sands. I have one of them. My memory's not what it used to be, though, and now I've forgotten where I buried them. With the help of your little friend, you should be able to find them. Return all four gold bars, and I will help you on your quest. 
typical, typical RPG style of a uh, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours potentially. Can I give it? There you go. This is one. I think it's trying to snipe me on top of a different walkway. Got one. I would just try digging where the ground is visibly disturbed. Evidently, you must be mentally disturbed not to think of that either. Can I flame this? It's, it's a bunch of vines. Flame it. And the fire heard me. Ooh, that was vicious. That attack looked pretty harmful. That looked even more painful. I need to drain this somehow, unless you can already search through it. Fine. Oh, yep, he has no problem digging in water. Should probably feed him. Right. Which means the other one is probably somewhere else up here. Maybe like right here, potentially. Find. Find it. Ooh, nothing but a bomb for dad. I won't deny it, that's still pretty helpful. Wait for me. Something in here, perhaps? Well, Another yeah. device you can't access until the end of the game. Fuel cell. Someone's crying back there. I can't do anything about that, though. All I can do for right now is help the high top. I think that's it. We have all four. And we just gotta return to him and give it to him. Which means he's swimming all the way to the other side of the cape. I still wanna figure out how to open this. Has to be like oh I probably need the cannon which means I can't do it until way later. Oh that sucks. I'm gonna have to remember it's there. You think I'm gonna remember that? All right, give him all the gold. Damn. Oh, I guess that's it. Yep, I gave them all three at once. I just gotta swim back across the lake. With a cape. it. 
What's that gonna do? That opens another gate. Oh man, don't you ever wonder all these puzzles are interconnected in a game like this? I can't use that yet either. Damn. Like, you know, you just can't help but wonder after like 10 years of playing these games, like, how all these mechanisms are, you know, intertwined together. What the? Uh. This is not good. Okay. So the room is filling with noxious gas and the trap. Uh. All these blocks got off the pedestal. Seems just like an Indiana Jones movie. I think if you're low on oxygen, if you climb up on top of this, you'll get it back. Yep. You'll do just fine if you keep doing that. As you can see, it's barely going down now. It keeps going down slower and slower. Aha! Uh -huh. And for some reason, replugging up the gas jets after they've let off their noxious gas opens up the gate downstairs. Oh, is there like a pent up, a whole bunch of pent up noxious gas preventing the gate from opening? You know, kind of silly stuff like that. Whoa! A cloud runner! Shoo shoo! Go away, cloud runner! Get away! Uh, have you two met? He is an earthwalker. I am a cloud runner. Our tribes do not see eye to eye. His father has probably been saying bad things about me. Who locked you in there? General Scales. Who locked you in that black pit? I am the queen of the Cloudrunner tribe and also its gatekeeper. That guy needs to be taught a lesson. Where is he now? He used my powers to open a path to the Cloudrunner fortress. I must return there to help my tribe. I'm gonna need that spellstone. Looks like you've got yourself company, lady. Peppy, I'm returning to the Arwing. Can you make sure it's ready for takeoff? Wait a minute! There's no way I'm going up to her for Why? Seriously? Okay, you can sit this one out. We'll head back to Thorntail Hollow, and you can wait there for me to return. I'll meet you at the Okay, fortress. sure. Good luck. I'll be just as worthless. Alright, so all that. Now guess what you gotta do? Backtracking. <laughs> Isn't that everyone's favorite in a video game? Backtracking. Two of my favorite words in the English language. You know what that basically uh, boils down to? Time for you to replay the exact same thing again in reverse. So now you gotta run all the way back out Cape Claw, which isn't that much actually. Through the through the uh, the transition area, back to, through Lightfoot Village. Through that transition area, back to Thorntail Hollow and take off. Okay, now look, it's like a very nice, relaxing autumn day. I like that sometimes in a game where they just have a nice, relaxing area. Nothing too serious. Asshole plants. 